What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Steven Turner with Turner Fishing. So, I get a lot of questions like, how do you start a fishing YouTube? What do you use to record? Uh, all, all sorts of things along that line. So, I'm kind of just going to go over the equipment. I don't expect this video to be too long, but I'm going to go over the equipment that I personally use to film for you guys on this YouTube channel. So, First off, uh, the, you can use your phone, honestly. When I first started, I used my phone for everything, but I ended up dropping my phone in the lake, which you'll see why in a minute, but it can happen. So if you can afford a GoPro, I would. Now the GoPro that I use is the Hero 5. Now I got this one, I think, for around 130 bucks, and I mean, it's waterproof. You don't have to have the waterproof casing on it, so you get better audio that way. And so, you get the GoPro, it comes with this casing right here. Uh, you can pop the sides off of it, but you have to take this off and you can charge it. But that makes it not waterproof, you gotta keep that in mind. And with the GoPro, you got 128 gig card you can get one of the 200 gigs maybe higher but i don't know if they all work with the gopro um and the reason for the the hero 5 i mean like i said it's waterproof it's got good stability and it's affordable like the hero 8 you really don't get much upgrades because i can i can record in 4k if i want to so and another big big investment is chest mount which you can go on Amazon right now and get a whole pack of GoPro accessories off brand for around 15 sometimes even ten dollars that comes with a chest mount the actual GoPro chest mount is like 40 bucks and it's the same thing honestly it may be a little bit more durable but you could buy four or five chest mounts for one so I would go that way I haven't had any issues with this one I actually have two of them from the same guy the only thing I had to do was tie that right there. It came off like last week. So, and I've had this one for about a year. Um, another thing with the GoPro, you're going to need batteries unless you have a way to charge it while it's filming, which a lot of bass boats do these days. But if you want it on your chest, you can either charge it with a portable battery or just buy batteries. You can get three of these pipe pippy shell right here on Amazon for around 20 bucks and they last way longer than the GoPro batteries themselves I've, I've always had issues with official GoPro batteries with them not charging or only lasting like an hour or two with uh, this battery right here I can film probably two almost two hours consistently without it going dead so I normally bring three batteries with me on any trip and if I get down to the last battery and I know I'm going to be there a while, I'll start just turning the camera on when I think I'm going to get a bite. But Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So the GoPro, I mean everybody knows about the GoPro, but this right here is my setup on my boat. Y'all see this pole right here in my boat? I got monster cans. And all kind of crap in it. So don't be looking at it. Don't be judging. It's all right. All right. I got this steel extension pole. All right. We're going to talk about that. Hold on. We got a car coming right now. But why this car coming? I'll throw up the sticker of the day right here before I forget about it. All right. And y'all can order that sticker down below at moto is lol at redbubble.com. All right, we got this extension pole. What an extension pole does, you can twist this right here. Hang on, let me put the phone down. See, so you can twist it and it extends up. Y'all know what it, I mean, that's an extension pole. It's, it's hard, not really brain, brain. <laughs> not really rocket science. But the reason I have this is, you can order this clamp right here. Get a better shot. This clamp with the kind of it's kind of 
kind of like a ram mount and you can either put your gopro on it but right here i have a foam accessory it's got a magnet right here you can get this off amazon also i, I forget the, na the name of it but just find something with a magnet and it actually attaches to your phone so like i do this right here and it's it's attached to it i know i just sent y'all for a whirlwind sorry about that but this right here is called it's almost dark this right here is called small rig look up on amazon they're under 20 bucks and what this does is i take my utility pole and this rig I actually clamp to it like this and then you, you do this right here y'all see my truck <laughs> i gotta take the trash off tomorrow all right there you go right there and i can set my phone right here i can make it as high as i want but the thing with that is i was crappy fishing I had it on the pole and I was making a, a dock shooting video, which y'all never seen because all that footage is at the bottom of Lake Murray right now. <laughs> but what ended up happening was I shot up under this dock. I got hung on a, a rope and I can put it up here right now. Yeah, there you go. See, hands free. I got it up on the mount, but I took my pole. I shot it up under the dock, got hung on a piece of rope. So I walked back from the front of the boat to the back of the boat to get it off this piece of rope. And I ended up hitting the pole. Now I tried to space the pole far enough that if it ever fall, it would fall in the boat. But it hit the boat and that sucker bounced into the water. <laughs> but I'll show y'all how I got this thing all set up real quick. Let me just turn the camera around. Do -do -do. All right, see so I got some, some L brackets. I put two L brackets on it and just drilled it straight into this spot right here. I mean, that joker ain't going nowhere. I could take my 300 pound butt and pull myself up. When I get done riding with the motor, no problem. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you get one of them GoPro accessory kits, it comes with a bunch of these. And you can take the phone thing off, set this in there, and you're good to go. I mean, like I said, uh, for about 150 bucks, you can do anything I'm doing. I have two GoPros, but I, I really just use one. I have a Hero 3, but it's not waterproof, and you got to have that casing, and the audio is kind of bad. So, if you can, the Hero 5 and up is just, I mean, they're good, good products. But anyway, guys, I hope this can help y'all out. i uh, show you my little setup and everything. So I'll catch y'all next time.